the best gymnasts, the most dominant female athlete. I feel like I don't think about it too much because so much has happened since then. Simone Biles went from winning the hearts of her adoptive parents to winning gold medals. I feel like each one gets better and better because it's like the fifth and then the sixth. Although she's been through some harrowing experiences, she hasn't let them slow her down. Let's get the topic that's on all of our minds out of the way first. Simone's family is going through an unimaginable difficult time after her brother's arrest, and we don't blame this gymnast for having a hard time processing the situation. Simone Biles' brother, Tevin Biles Thomas, was charged with a horrific crime. Simone released a statement via Twitter claiming that her heart aches for everyone involved, especially for the victims and their families. She expressed her sincere condolences and asked the public to respect her family's privacy during this difficult time. While this is clearly a tumultuous time for this incredible athlete, it's not the first hardship she's had to persevere through during her incredible life. Like many gymnasts, Simone started training at a young age, but it wasn't just because she needed something to do after school. Her biological mother, Shannon Biles, struggled with substance issues and Simone found herself going in and out of foster care when she was around three years old. Her biological father, Kelvin Clemens, met Shannon when they were teenagers, but was never a part of Simone's life. I never had a mom to run to. I always remember feeling hungry and afraid. Her maternal grandfather, Ron Biles, and his wife, Nellie, decided to adopt both Simone and her younger sister, Adria, when Simone was six years old. These are the people Simone considers her parents to this day. She remembers asking Nellie if she could call her mom the day she was adopted. Her other siblings, Ashley and Tevin, were adopted as well, but by Ron's sister, Harriet. Ron says he didn't plan on adopting little Simone, but that didn't quite work out for him. You're not gonna steal my heart. She did. Getting adopted was a major turning point in Simone's life, in the best way possible. Despite the difficulties she faced, Simone grew up thinking her life was totally normal. She even thought everyone got adopted at some point or another. But her biological mother, on the other hand, was struggling. Because Ron didn't want her in and out of Simone's life, he totally cut off contact with her for six long years. At first, Shannon was furious with her father for keeping Simone and Adria away from her. But after getting clean, she came to see the wisdom in her father's decision. Although life with her parents quickly became her new normal, she admits to thinking about her birth mother from time to time. The two women exchange phone calls on holidays, but that's pretty much the extent of their relationship at this point. Shannon says she's always cheering on her daughter, but it's from a considerable physical and emotional distance. I'm just proud. What? I mean, ecstatic. I mean, speechless. Simone is well aware of her mother's past and is mature enough to know that her decisions had nothing to do with her. She doesn't have any lingering questions about why her mother did certain things, but she does wonder what her life might have been like if things were different. To help take Simone's mind off the whole situation with her birth mother, her parents enrolled her in gymnastics. And we all know how that turned out, with tons of gold medals. But while she seemed to be absolutely thriving at the sport, she was also suffering in a way nobody would realize until years later. In 2018, Simone announced via Twitter that she was one of the many victims of former gymnastics physician Larry Nasser. She tweeted a statement with the hashtag MeToo, announcing that she was a survivor who had been reluctant to share her story because she had spent so long blaming herself for what happened. Feels like he took a part of me that I can't get back. Simone also said having to return to the same training facility in which she encountered Larry Nasser was heartbreaking but necessary if she wanted to continue striving for the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. You had one job. You literally had one job and you couldn't protect us. And as you've probably figured out by now, nothing stops this determined athlete. Not only did Simone qualify for the event, but she also made history by landing a double-double dismount from the beam. No big deal for a legend like Simone Biles. But don't just take our word for it. Even Mary Lou Retton, the first American woman to take home an all-around Olympic gold medal, says Simone is the greatest gymnast ever. Considering that's a title Mary Lou used to hold, that's quite the compliment. At the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, Simone was part of the famous gold medal winning Final Five team, and Simone herself is a four-time world all-around champion. Simone is such an incredible athlete that she makes stuff like this look easy, even though we know it's really anything but. It's so easy to look at Simone Biles and see an amazing woman with no shortage of accomplishments, but Simone had to make some really tough choices along the way to success. 
When it became clear gymnastics were more than just a hobby for Simone, she found herself facing a difficult situation. Competitions meant tons of traveling and practice, and that meant tons of time away from school. It became way too difficult for Simone to balance traditional school with her burgeoning gymnastics career. This meant Simone was forced to choose between continuing her education at her familiar school or taking the road less traveled. At age 13, Simone began being homeschooled so she could pursue gymnastics in earnest. Not having to remember your locker combination and getting to take part in gymnastics competitions sounds like it's definitely the best of both worlds, but according to Simone, there was a serious drawback. Not only did she miss out on teenage rite of passages like prom, but Simone also missed her friends. She admits the adjustment period was tough and she was often reduced to tears because she felt so lonely and isolated. Simone knew she would have to tough it out if she wanted to improve at gymnastics and become a champion. And as an adult, she had to make the same call again. Like it wasn't tough enough the first time? This time, Simone was torn between professional gymnastics and the University of California, Los Angeles. She announced her decision to attend UCLA via Twitter and even signed a national letter of intent with the school. But Simone realized once again that a traditional education just didn't mesh with being a professional athlete. This meant forfeiting her NCAA eligibility to compete for UCLA and going pro. It was a bold move, but don't think Simone was giving up on her education. She just needed a school that would work with her and her crazy schedule, and she found it with the University of the People. This online university is not only nationally accredited, but it's also tuition-free. Yeah, if you're drowning in student loan debt, your job probably just dropped. Students do pay some administrative costs, but there are scholarships to help out those in need. Not only was Simone accepted, but she was made the brand ambassador for the University of the People. This school fit with her lifestyle and gave her another cause to be passionate about, making education available to everyone. Now when she's not training, she's working towards a degree in business administration. Not only is Simone pushing herself, but she's doing her best to encourage others as well. A higher education for everyone is very helpful in life. While other people can get away with calling her the greatest of all time, Simone thinks it's funny that the instant she agrees with them, she's labeled as conceited. As if her medals and accomplishments don't speak for themselves. To let her haters know what she thinks of that, Simone showed off a leotard with her last name and an image of an animal, which is an acronym for greatest of all time. Spunky and stylish. This also isn't the only time Simone has used her fashion to send a message. In the wake of the Larry Nassar trial, she rocked a teal leotard in order to show her solidarity to her fellow survivors. Something about Simone that all her fans love is that she always seems to be having a great time. Her detractors claim she isn't serious enough about the sport, but Simone doesn't think having fun and working hard have to be mutually exclusive. She's been through so much in her life, but still manages to have a smile on her face even when she's pulling off stunts most of us could only dream of. Don't mind us while we struggle to do a decent cartwheel. But just because Simone is always looking forward doesn't mean she never thinks about her past. While most gymnasts stick with the perfect poker face, Simone isn't afraid to let her emotions show because she knows she has the skills to back it up. She's a big believer that you can have fun and do well and advises her peers to just let loose a bit. Although she's never lost sight of her goals, Simone has taken a year off to rest and reset at one point. Of course, Simone has a very different definition of the word rest than most of us do. In 2017, she took a year off and appeared on the 24th season of the show Dancing with the Stars. She was paired up with professional dancer Sasha Farber, and right from the get-go, they were considered the favorites to win. It's hardly a surprise considering Simone's athleticism, grace, and the fact that her Rio teammate Laurie Hernandez won the previous season. Laurie and Val! But instead, NFL running back Rashad Jennings and Emma Slater came in first place that season. Although we did get to watch Simone perform a truly touching waltz to Good Good Father by Chris Tomlin, a performance she dedicated to her parents. Simone also used her time off to pen an autobiography entitled Courage to Soar, A Body in Motion, A Life in Balance. But it's just about my life so that they hear it from me. She says she hopes her book provides readers with the same inspiration she's been lucky enough to have in her life and encourages them to chase their dreams. Before we knew it, Simone was back in action at the gym, working hard to get into shape for the 2018 US Classic. Oh, and while there, she won the all-around title, the gold medal on floor and balance beam, and recorded the highest single vault score. No big deal or anything. Guess all that rest and relaxation left her feeling really refreshed. 
Tennis player Coco Goff was the youngest finalist at the 2017 US Open in the event's history, and Simone thinks she has what it takes to go the distance. She even campaigned for Coco when she was nominated for the People's Choice Award Game Changer of 2019. Oh, and it's an honor Simone is also in the running for. Coco replied back via Twitter that she's cheering on Simone as well. It's great to see these two accomplished athletes supporting one another, and of course, the fans love it too. But considering all she's managed to overcome and accomplish so far, we have sky-high hopes for her future. What do you think about the life of Simone Biles? Does knowing more about her background give you an all-new respect for her achievements? Are you excited to see her in the 2020 Olympics? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section and then click on the subscribe button for the latest from the taco. Bye for now.